sin theta equals cos 90 degrees minus theta and cos theta equals sin 90 degrees minus theta. These were the two formulae we saw in the previous video. Sine of an angle is equal to the cosine of its complementary angle and the cosine of an angle is equal to the sine of its complementary angle. First, let's try and figure out cosec 90 degrees minus theta. Cosec is the reciprocal of sine. So cosec 90 degrees minus theta will equal 1 by sine 90 degrees minus theta. From this equation, we can say that sine of 90 minus theta equals cos theta. This ratio can therefore be written as 1 by cos theta. The reciprocal of cos theta is sec theta. This tells us that the secant of an angle will equal the cosecant of its complementary angle. As I always say, trigonometry is about deriving relations and not memorizing them. You understand a few relations and derive the rest. On that note, let's derive another relation. What is sec 90 minus theta? Sec is the reciprocal of cos. So this will equal 1 by cos 90 degrees minus theta. From the first relation, we can see that cos 90 minus theta equals sine theta. This can be written as 1 by sine theta. And the reciprocal of sine theta is cosec theta. This derivation tells us that the cosecant of any angle is equal to the secant of its complementary angle. With the help of these two relations, we could derive two more relations. Ok, now why don't you try deriving two more relations? They are extremely simple to derive. Try deriving a similar relation for tan of 90 degrees minus theta and cot of 90 degrees minus theta. Let me give you a hint. Tan is sine by cos and cot is cos by sine. Now try deriving the relation. Let's see how simple it is. This can be written as sine 90 degrees minus theta by cos 90 degrees minus theta. From this equation, sine 90 minus theta can be written as cos theta. And from this equation, cos 90 minus theta can be written as sine theta. This looks familiar. Cos theta by sine theta is cot theta. The cotangent of any angle equals the tangent of its complementary angle. We zoom out and look at the last special relation of complementary angles. This can be written as cos of 90 degrees minus theta divided by sine of 90 degrees minus theta. And from the two relations above, this ratio can be written as sine theta by cos theta, which equals tan theta. And this tells us that the tangent of any angle equals the cotangent of its complementary angle. Wow! We derived four relations in this video and these two in the previous one. You would have noticed that there are zillion formulae in trigonometry and no matter how much you try to remember them, you always forget a few. Even if you understand a bit and try to derive the rest, it's the same story. You forget. We all forget. But there is an answer to all our trigonometric worries. It's the super hex. The super hexagon. There is this one polygon we need to remember in order to know all the trigonometric formulae. Yes, it's true. This one hexagon will help us remember many formulae and identities. Do not forget to watch our video on the super hex.